Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to tell you how you can program the buttons of any mouse, any gaming mouse, any particular mouse, except for the magic mouse. And uh, let me tell you the reason why I discovered this myself. So I got a new mouse for Christmas, and this was the uh, Corsair Harpoon RGB gaming mouse. And it's an awesome mouse, but unfortunately, Corsair does not support Mac, meaning they don't develop software that you can use on your Mac to reprogram your uh, Corsair products. And uh, through sheer luck, I managed to find out there's actually software that's uh, developed for Mac that you can use to reprogram almost any computer mouse, and that is called Steer Mouse. It's this right here, and this is their website. Just search for Steer Mouse or check the link that I'll add in the description below, and you'll go here. And it says here, it, um, what is it? It's a utility that lets you freely customize buttons, wheels, and cursor speed. Both USB and Bluetooth mice are supported, no matter whether the mouse is designed for Windows or Mac. And it says here, it does not support the Apple Magic Mouse and Magic Trackpad, and it may not support some special buttons. Uh, just a note on this, it works perfectly fine on my Corsair mouse, and uh, what my Corsair mouse has are these uh, two buttons on the side. One thing that I do have to add though is that I have this button on the top of my Corsair mouse and um, this, um, this software does not change the functionality of that specific button, but you can reprogram the buttons on the side. So one con about this software is that although you can download it for free, it's only a trial period of 30 days and uh, you have to purchase this for um, $20 if you want to continue using this after a month. It might be that you can program your buttons within those 30 days and the program will stick. I don't know, I haven't used it that long yet, but feel free to try that out yourself if you're interested in figuring that out. Um, so yeah, this is a bummer that it costs a whopping $20, but uh, it might be worth it for your case. Uh, I might actually purchase it myself, I don't know. So let me show you what it looks like in the system preferences. Here we are in the system preferences. It's shown up here at the bottom as steer mouse and you can see it has these different tabs. You can customize quite a few things such as the cursor acceleration and the sensitivity. Uh, I've left these as they are. Um, you can also customize the scrolling. I'm not even sure what this is. And this is what we're mostly interested in here. So if you hold your mouse over the, the mouse, if you hold your cursor over the mouse here on the right and you use the buttons on the mouse, you can see them showing up here. And I have these two buttons here and I've programmed them to command minus and command equal. I don't know what the 10 is here. I, it's because I used the numpad that the 10 showed up. But anyway, uh, the reason I programmed it for specifically those things is because I like to use Final Cut Pro and um, in the timeline here, I'm always zooming in and out and uh, I found that it was really bothersome having to click here all the time. So what I do now is I programmed my mouse to be able to do it and the two buttons on the side of my mouse I use to zoom in and I use it to zoom out. And that makes things more efficient and um, organized for me. I love efficiency when it comes to using a computer and any type of software. So that's a big deal to me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope this video helps you out. This is supposed to work for absolutely any mouse, pretty much. And uh, I know there are quite a few gaming mice out there that do not have Mac support. They do not have software that is compatible with Mac. And uh, for that reason, this software is a godsend, uh, at least for those who are willing to spend the 20 bucks on it. So yeah, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoy this and uh, yeah, have a good day.